The hopes and dreams of yesteryear have become hopelessness and nightmares for my generation. The pursuit of happiness has been replaced with the pursuit of basic stability. Forget a yearly vacation. Forget owning a house. Forget a comfortable retirement. Those dreams are for yesteryear. The choices made long before I was born, the messes created half a century ago have been left for us and our children to clean up. The climate is a disaster. The oceans are full of plastic and our air is more and more polluted. Our food is contaminated with chemicals. The policies of the so-called great men, Reagan, Nixon, Bush, and Clinton, have had reverberations out of the past and into the future. Trickle-down economics has led us to fight each other over droplets while the wealthy steals the rest. The war on drugs has left us with a new slave class the so-called criminals stuck in the largest prison population on earth. The poor and the minorities get the iron fist while the wealthy get a slap on the wrist. The banking policies have meant that corporations get massive bailouts while we, the people, get left with the bill while begging on the street corners. The expectations of yesteryear are nothing but hollow placations today. Work harder, they say, as more and more money gets funneled to the most wealthy. Save your money, they say, as we have no money to save, much less enough money to live. We must choose between saving pennies and being able to enjoy life in ever so fleeting moments. Things that were once considered basic in yesteryear are now considered luxury. All while the wealthy buy mega yachts and private jets, we struggle to make our car payments on a used Honda Civic. We don't want luxury, we just want stability. A stable food source with healthy and nutritious food a stable job with stable wages that allows us a future we were told of by our parents. A stable living situation without sky-high rents and a path to ownership. Shit, just build me a stable and call me Seabiscuit. Home prices have skyrocketed while wages don't even keep up with inflation. The top 10% of Americans own 76% of the wealth. Let me say that again. The top 10% of Americans own 76% of the wealth. Main Street and Wall Street has nothing to do with each other any longer. To quote the late great George Carlin, they call it the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. I hope we wake up so that the American dream can be a dream for all of us.